everybody. Welcome to the video where I do whatever I want. And today, I want to make candy roses. Now I saw this online and it just requires some sticks, some Jolly Ranchers, gloves that you can use with food, and a little container, and also water. But I mean, most of us have water, not all of us. I'm sorry. I thought it was cute. I don't know what you do with it afterwards. Do you eat it afterwards? Who knows? But it's cute. So let's do it. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay, so obviously I have to take out what colors I want. That was just annoying for my future self to have to pick up. Roses have leaves, so I'm gonna get some green ones in there. Roses are red. So I'm gonna go fill this with water and I just microwave it for about like a minute and then I'll mold them and I'll show you how I do them. This genuinely seems super simple. And now that I think that it's so simple, I have a feeling it's gonna be really evil. Be right back with hot water. All right, I'm back. I, this is hot water. As you can see, I was supposed to leave the Jelly Ranchers inside the wrappers, so I did. Now I'm gonna try to get through this fast because I don't want them to cool off because they have to be hot in order to do this, right? All right, now I had to buy these special food usable gloves. Apparently, there's certain gloves that you can use with food and others you can't, which I guess makes sense. Like they, some have like powder on them and crap. You don't want that in your food. Oh, I know how to put a glove on real well. One of my skills in life. I actually don't think I put rubber gloves on that often. That is a skill that you have to learn. Doctors just are always doing it. You just assume, oh, a doctor can do it, I can do it. Yeah, I don't think we should assume that in life. Oh, that's hot. Mush it while it's in the thing. Okay, and then you unwrap it. Oh God, this is scary. Oh, I've unwrapped it. Oh, it smells so good. I love when my things smell good. Okay, and then I mushy, mushy. I want the first one to just like poke through just to be the base. Oh no, I want it to wrap around. Oh God, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm getting red everywhere. I don't know. This is a lot more difficult than the man online said it would be. It just keeps sliding around. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, now I need to put flowers around it. Where do I put you? You can just stay there. Now I need to put petals around it. Ooh, it's smushy, smushy. This one was easier to smush. Maybe because it's been in the water longer. That would make sense. Oh, this one's watermelon, not cherry. <gasps> so I'm gonna have like a pink red flower. Oh, that's fun. Mush, 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 mush. Mush that booty, mush that booty. Get off, get off. <gasps> I made something. That's my rose so far. Proud of me. So what they didn't explain online is you kind of have to work real quick once it's out of the water because it hardens up again real fast. So I'm gonna do most of my stretching while it's in the water. Oh, this smells good. I think everyone should just do this craft because it smells so good. Smushy, smushy. You gotta have some good hand strength to do this. <gasps> Guys, I'm actually kind of making a rose. Okay. This has just come off the stick one too many times. Stick on there. Ow. Now I poked through and I hurt myself. Looky, looky, looky. <gasps> oh, I'm so proud of myself. Oh, goodness. Okay, back in it. The cherry ones are difficult. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Stick. <laughs> it did what I told it to do. Well, it doesn't look like it's blossoming. It looks like it's like a rose that wants to blossom but can't yet. So I gotta blossom you. Blossom. There we go. No, don't. Do you see this? Do you see it? Do you see it? Because I do. Guys, I'm very excited that I've kind of figured this out. Come on, thin it out, Candy. It's really hot in there. And I think I need to make it hotter. Okay. Yeah, they're so slippery. You know, the thing with these tutorials you read and you hear and you watch, they don't explain the negativity part of it all. Like, the water's really hot. It slips around a bunch. Those things I feel the world needs to know about before they start the pro project, right? And that's where I come in, everybody. I'll tell you the worst part of it all. Am I done? There seemed a lot fuller. I don't like the last part I just added. You know what? We're just gonna put the leaves on it and call that one done. Mush it against the bottom. Mush it. You know what? I'm going to warm up the water a little bit more because they're starting to get too hard. Yeah. All right. I've heated it up more. Let's see if it's more squishy. Oh, it's hotter on there for sure. Oh, yeah. Way more squishy. So if it starts getting hot, hot, hot. Ah, so if it's, God, that was hot. So if it starts getting too difficult to mush, <laughs> just heat it up again. I'm going to poke this through the bottom. Can I? Is that a possibility? I don't think I can. I don't think I have that. Wait, no. I'm starting to poke a hole. Come on. Nope. Can't do it. Unable. Now I need to re-smush it. That was just a fail on my part. I just wish I was able to poke it through so much more. Oh, you have an idea. There's a pokey side to kebab stick, so you poke it through the pokey side. Come on, man. There it is. Poked it through. And I broke it. <laughs> See that? 
I broke that. Neat! Okay, so there's definitely a science to this and I haven't figured it out yet. It's, it's so hot in there. Maybe if I dip it and it's super, super hot when I break it through, that'll make it easier. That made it so much easier. It has to be super hot if you want to poke it through the thing. Put this on it. <gasps> I made a rubber hose! Look at my little rubber hose! I'm so proud of myself! Oh, oh, I'm so happy that I own this! I need to put it somewhere. <laughs> Don't bite it. I found an olive oil jar that was done with. I don't think you guys know how proud of myself I am. I know this looks like crap, but I am just genuinely so proud of myself. I'm gonna cut the little tip off. Boop. It's just so beautiful. I wanna make so many more. I'm going to. Hey you, how you doing? Like this is what I'm giving people for flowers from now on. You can eat it. It's made of candy. It's a candy rose. I think I wanna make a blue flower. Okay, so I've let them sit for a bit in the water and now I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna start with like a solid blue one and just like wrap it around the middle really tight, which I tried to do with this, but just like wasn't thinking. And then I'm gonna do the leaves and then I'm gonna take, I don't know how I wanna do it. I'm gonna wing it. How about that? Okay. Okay, and oh god, they are not soft enough yet. Oh, and there's a hair in it. Good. How are you not smushy? The water is so hot. Come on, be smushy. It is so hot in there. There it is. All right. Oh, the blueberry smells so good. Oh, I love the smell of candy. It smells like nothing else in the world. This is not what blueberries taste or smell like at all. But apparently it is, because candy says so. Just like stabbing myself, man. You got this. Oh, that was a good solid wrap around. That's not coming off if you ask me. I think I'm gonna keep working with the petals and then the leaves. I think the leaves come at the end. You can wrap it. Eh. Okay. You know, and I shouldn't be afraid to dip it back in the water once it's out of the wrapper. I'm gonna make it blossom more than I did in the last one. Well, it's blue. I'm gonna work on this and then I'll show you my finished product. And did it. Look how cool those look though. I think those look legit, man. I can't believe how easy that actually was. Like at first it was hard to get used to like how slippery it was, but once you do it a few times, it's actually extremely simple. Wow, I'm proud of myself. Wait, let me see if they taste good. Tastes like a freaking Jolly Rancher, guys. Who would have thunk it? Wow, look how cool these are. Will you subscribe to me? I'll give you this flower if you do. No, I won't. This will not ship well. Oh, I'm so stoked about it. That's it for this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please comment below if there's anything else you'd like me to try out. I'll be willing to. I'm getting really good at crafts, like extremely good at them. Look at this. Also subscribe to this channel if you want to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, but remember, above all else, stay awesome, possums.